Yeah, man, a Willie Gunn sound, man. Willie Gunn from San Diego, California. My way is long, so long, but the road is foggy, foggy. My head never swell, my heart never lip, I never have no faith I'm waiting. My head never swell, my heart never lip, I never have no faith I'm waiting, even though the road is foggy. So foggy, foggy, yeah. Can hardly see. Cha cha is my eyesight. Be it high, be it high. Be it high, cha cha. Cha cha, be it high. High and high and high and high and high.
Say with me now. Say after me. Talk to me. Come on. Come on. Talk to me. Everybody. I want you to talk to me. I want to talk to me. Come on. Talk to me. Come on. Talk to me.
to me. I want you to talk to them out there. Come on in. I'm gonna talk to you about a love that's true. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. And you 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 and you
the man in the hill plant vegetable, natural food, and ganja. Jamaica is widely estimated to have the highest density of cannabis users and has the best marijuana of the world. Almost everyone smokes it behind closed doors because it's illegal. While the police burns the fields, Peter Tosh sings, legalize it. This is Jamaica, Cali. Yeah. Right in the hills, we plant the best call in Jamaica. Centimane and lamb bread. Oh, give right. me a smoke, let I try it, if it's good stuff. You can look on the hills in Jamaica, we got the best stuff in Jamaica. This stuff is good, this is what, the lamb's bread or the centimane? Centimane. Yeah. Well, the boys, they go crazy for this all over in the world, you know? This is Jamaica, best. Yeah, pretty good. I can see it. <coughs> Jamaican college coming in the hills. Yeah. Right in the hills, on mountain, you can see in Jamaica. Why you don't um, plant the ganja on the flat? No, we can plant the ganja on the flat in Jamaica. We have to plant it behind those big hills there. So why the cause of that? To the police in Jamaica, it's very dangerous to plant the ganja right here. But so, the road. so far in America, the police, they smoke. Most of the police in Jamaica smoke too? Yeah, but uh, it's so they, dangerous that they give against the ganja. Jamaica, J Jamaican people are very poor and the government can support the poorer class, we have to try something for ourselves in Jamaica. So that's why we have to plant weed in Jamaica as ganja. Come on. 
this one is taken from the new album and it is called Buckingham Palace.
research. Music is psychology, see? And if the music does not penetrate the heart, the soul, and the mind, and the body, then you ain't gonna feel it. Because reggae music is not something that you hear, it's something you feel, see? And if you don't feel it, you can't know it, see? It is a spiritual music with spiritual ingredients for spiritual purposes. See. Where exactly is the roots coming from? <clears throat> well, the roots comes from Africa, where which all roots coming from. And um, <clears throat> it's a spiritual motivation of inspiration through divine lines of Ja Rastafari, see, who is the creator, who was and will forever be. See. How old is this Back to Africa movement? Ever since black people became con conscious of their culture see, and their roots. And that was a couple hundred years ago, even in the days of slavery. But because, because slavery was forced, people were afraid to speak what they had in mind. What is a Rastaman really? A Rastaman is a man who speaks the truth. A Rastaman is a follower of the Creator, see? The prefix Ras means head, the suffix Tifari means creator. When you put them together, it's the head creator. We are the followers of the head creator, who is the Trinity. Haile Selassie is the Trinity. The word Haile means power, and Selassie means Trinity. He is the power of the Trinity, see? And he was, and he is, and he will forever be, see? So we are the followers of him who is the head Rastafari. The prefix Ras means head. See? That means without your head, then what are you? See? Would reggae take over the world? That's what reggae is supposed to be. See? If reggae is not accepted universally around the four corners of the earth, then what's the use of a music? The music was made for people. Don't cry, 
In St. Anne's Bay, the birthplace of Marcus Garvey and Bob Marley, we talk to Winston Rodney, who takes his name from Burning Spear of Kenya, from Jomo Kenyatta. Burning Spear sings no songs of love and sex. The songs are a political, nationalist, Rasta propaganda machine and call attention to the suffering and poverty of the slums. Well, right now, this place is usually called Key Lava Beach. But if you, if you even listen to this album named Giant Heavy, I sing a cut named Any River. I mean, mention about Key Lava River, Small River. But you right know? now, we re redraw certain plans within reconstruct, changing name, attitude, ways, and administration. Right now, the place named Spear Gavilan and Center on a cultural level. So several of things 
really going to have to take place on a cultural level, constructively. Do you live together in a Rasta community? Together, everything we do together, work together and bring the place to it, reach together on a level together, on a cultural level. All members are together on stage? Right now, the whole of it together. Members and members and members and members. See? So it's just pure Gavilan and Centre on a cultural level. Due to the name of his Imperial Majesty, I and I are set it on the footstep of Marcus Giavi. See? That's why I named Spear Gavilan and Centre. Rasta. Rasta starts with Marcus Garvey. Garvey, a Jamaican, born in 1887, social reformer, prophesied in a Kingston church one Sunday in 1927, look to Africa, where a black king shall be crowned, for the day of deliverance is here. In 1930, the emperor of Ethiopia, Haile Rastafari Selassie, was crowned and the Rastafarian movement was born. The main precepts of the movement are that black people who were unwillingly sold into slavery should be repatriated not just to Africa, but to Ethiopia, where Selassie, the direct descendant of David, Lion of Judah, ruled over the only black monarchy in the world. Africa for the Africans at home and abroad. We are the descendants of a suffering people. We are descendants of a people determined to suffer no longer. Garvey's legacy to the Negro people was a powerful feeling of race pride he had helped to create during the 1920s. He was the most outstanding leader of black nationalism. He died in 1940 without ever setting foot in Africa. In 1952, Marcus Garvey was proclaimed a national hero of Jamaica. The criminal element in West Kingston turned to the Rastas for hideouts from the police. In an era where violent death is commonplace, the Rastas with their brightly colored rags, their devotion for ganja, their striking appearance with dreadlocks, were singled out for punishment in the mid-60s. The Rastas became social outcasts. Death to all white and black oppressors. I and I get the message of Rastafari out through reggae. Awake, Zion, awake and sing alarm. Descendants was from Africa. Africa. And then I, four parents, have been here through slave and wow. working some days and days, even until this day. But the truth of Rasta, Rasta have revealed a thing to the nation to free all these bandage, all these chains and shackles that then I were born in. And I tell the new irates to the nation about Rastafari as a true liberty. You know, and yeah. that is I and I culture. Now your eyes. You I and I cultivate all the green herbs, you know, and all the fruits and the vegetables that I, and I eat up for hours because I don't know to deal with dead flesh, you know, and the fertilizer food and get commercial wise eat, you know. So now I just live in the ease where I can get our green herbs, eat for hours, you know. So I know I don't to go out there right now, we we'll live commercially, you know. I know I just live in the hills and plant and I veg and keep the garden clean and play on I drums. 
which I like drums really for the first music of creation, you know. Communication wise, you know, sound wise, make and I like the nation. Blood for the rascal, you know. Fire. You know, see, in because I and I. Yeah. Is the two we, sons of Rastafari. Of Why you play only bongo drums? Well, right now, you know, commercially, all the other instruments, where you plug in an electric light there, them just come for imitate, right? Because the drums. He's you playing can't, with it, he's playing with it. He's just playing with it still, because you can't just. Yeah. You can't just, just touch all the switch and. Bam. Bam, just blow up. You see the pan stage and all that work, commercially wise, mm -hmm. current gone and no work for the night. No work. But anyway, I have a little drums and it reached the heart to a depth more because all black man born for play drum. Too because man. black man is from Africa and drum originated in Africa. So I and I play my drums and we can't just clap your hand together and play two drums and a reggae. We just nice rock music. ourselves That's together. Nice but music. most of the people who deal with reggae right now, them just gone for the dollars. Commercialized. You know, for the dollars. They don't play it for several then because yeah, a certain amount of vibration. Praises, no praises, praises, praises to the most high God, you know. They just gone for the dollars. So they improvise for a whole lot of wah wah fuzz and mm. synthesize. I forget the people going, you know, crazy. You call it freaky. Some seeking fame. You know, see and, it. You know? But, you know. but when it comes to the drums, Rastafari, I and I play drums because. It educate the nation and show the nation a black a deal with. Uplift right? Now, yeah. It open your heart, you know, see it. If you have a concert, drum is the first thing. Play on stage. Drum introduce all music. <coughs> you know, see it. Drum is the introduction of all different songs and music and rhythms. Because drum is a really driver's seat for music. So you can find the roots of reggae still in Jamaica. Yes, yes you can yes. find the roots if you penetrate the hills. But you see, when you come to Jamaica now, and them put you down at the town here, if you sit down in a big hotel and eat up them big food that them cook up out yeah, and claim, say, and then the thing they if you come to Jamaica, come see, you know, you have to come to Jamaica right now and find Rasta, find Rasta the true and living Rasta. I mean, I mean, no pimp, Ooh, so no far. hooligan, no so blood far. sucker. Yeah. Because I would say to them, say, move where, Babylon. Yeah. Move where, yeah. with your blood and meditation, and your flesh heart. Rasta no one on blood for drink. So see I and I in the hills where reggae continue because I and I, you know, them fight against I and I in the hills, Sevelen, ganja, which is marijuana, and Kali weed, sensimilia, lamb's bread. <laughs> Rasta for right. yeah. Them say I and I don't yeah, use yeah. them things. Well, see I and I, and those praises, you know, those ganja. Ganja. Ganja, our whole lot of vegetable and fruit juice, you know, and okay. jump playing and give praise to the most high God, like Rastafari, because I am and belong to the king. So, therefore, I and I chant Rastafari. I'm 
My beat, yeah, is my only carriage. Well, yes, I've got to push on through. But when I'm born, everything is gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right, child. Everything is gonna be all right. Towns, trench town and ghost town. The jungle grew up literally on a dump of trash and human waste. In Jamaica from the beginning, reggae was slum music and was disdained by all but the lowest classes of black society. Reggae means regular people who are suffering and don't have what they want. Reggae means coming from people, like everything from the ghetto, from majority. The roots of reggae music are fixed in slavery. cities and towns pump along to the sound of reggae, its mentor and rude boy's origins gave it a crude and antisocial air, with the beaten threat of violence projected by the Rudies. Rudies were young men, aged between 14 and 30, who had joined the migration from country to Kingston. With no skills and West Kingston's chronic 35% unemployment rate, the Rudies redefined street life, hanging out, suffering, flicking deadly ratchet knives, trolley hopping, purse snatching, occasional muggings, petty theft from, insolence, ganja, singing and general hooliganism into lifetime careers, most of which ended very early. For the Rudy, the only way out of the West Kingston, Trenchtown, Tivoli Gardens, Coast Town, Jonestown, Denham Town, was via a hit single or police bullet. Like the Slickers, Johnny Too Bad, or Jimmy Cliff as Ivan, the harder they come. Kingston is a city of fires, a city on fire. Rastafarians and the police are still carrying on their own war. The police is checking cars in traffic jams for ganja and illegal weapons daily. Rastafarians, the rude boys, the sufferers and reggae. A squalid place to sit around doing nothing, waiting for the pressure to drop. The place from trench down rock and rebel music.
Most people were afraid of the Rastas because of their unkempt appearance and long mud matted hair. Adhering to a Nazarene code of behavior, the Rastas do not drink. They live in communes in the limestone highlands of the island. They ritualize smoking ganja and proclaim its divine origins. They believe and practice a mystic philosophy of brotherhood and love. Diplomatic, hip for Hippocratic, dry for trial and Taurus, top for top for Norris. Everyday thing that people use like food, we just put music in it and make a dance out of it. Reggae sound is much more powerful due to the emphasis of the bass as the principal melodic drive of most songs. Social, political, and spiritual concepts enter the lyrics more and more until the reggae musicians became Jamaica's prophets and social commentators.
Bob Marley doesn't live any longer in Trenchtown. He lives in the better part of West Kingston. We found Bob Marley's house and Tough Gong Studios easily. Every child knows the place. The yard was filled with motorcycles and dozens of smoking rasters. The scene was a hangout of a lot of musicians. It looks like anti-establishment. You mean anti-establishment? You mean we don't like establishments? Well, yes. Everything... You see, the music say dead to black and white oppressors, to all oppressors. You know, we are dealing with human beings. We are dealing with the purpose why God created man in the first place. And no man should I live. And we, these people, want to live like how God said man should live. And through reggae music, we convey our message because there's a lot of people not living that way. Not that them don't want to live that way, but they are forced to live that way. So the music come for change, you know. The music come for change, the whole idea. I don't know how long it's going to take, but that's just what going to happen. All music is root music that come from Jamaica, in you know, that sense of creativeness. See? Once it creates, it's root music. If it's a fallow thing, then it's not root. We are dealing with the creativeness, the creative power, you know. I know that you get rockers, reggae, rock steady, every music with a creativity, which is roots. Well, reggae music is a music created by Rasta people. And it carry earth force, a people rhythm, and people, you know, it's a rhythm where people working, people moving, you know. Well, we play music, you know, and we don't play for suit critics. We play what we want to play, when we want to play it, how we want to play it. And we have a reason why we play it, you know? Yes, it is necessary to understand the lyrics, you know? It have meaning to, you know? But it's because some people, some people understand the words, you know? Some people never go through them situation, you know? But, the majority of the world suffer, the masses of the people suffer. And this music comes from the masses of the people. Mm. You know, it don't really come from up class. You did through my door. You scan the soul, you scan. 
One who never gave up the fight is one of the stalwarts of reggae whose music is the most banned music in Jamaica. Was it Freedom? Fancy Eccles. Mm -hmm. That was the first real reggae song that came on the market. Well, uh, Freedom wasn't really a reggae song, no. Freedom was a Jamaican song. Jamaican song. It was used, Freedom was so old that it was used in uh, the Martin Luther King uh, march they had in Washington. Yeah. Freedom was is that old. A long way yes, back. Yes, it was That's before the march. That was what and year was that now? Uh, freedom was recorded in 1959. It was mm -hmm. late 59 when Freedom was recorded. Well, they might have come forward with the roots of the music. Mm -hmm. You know, the roots of the music is the old thing that can hold the music together. Reggae together. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you water it down and pop it up, mm -hmm. then you start Americanize it, in which it's a different market. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not your music anymore. Mm -hmm. It's uh, some other people's music. Mm -hmm. But if you can maintain the roots of the music, then you can defend the music on a total long term. Because then nobody can really play the roots part of the music like the Jamaican man. As you know, in a Jamaica, they've been fighting high from the days of freedom. Mm -hmm. They've been fighting high. Mm -hmm. Right? They don't like when I make certain music. Mm -hmm. So I don't fussy. But I know the world love their music. So you're going to go out there? Yes, I have to go out there and relate it to the world. Because my music is the most banded music. Well, good luck. Sign. Good luck at that. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's it, love. Because I know reggae music is definitely on. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Reggae music is on. As you hear it, no more crying and no more crying. Oh, because I even get our freedom from my sister last week. Yeah, I don't have a single politician now for no freedom. I know I freedom. I freedom is true. See last week. You understand? The almighty Jarras. All right. Of course. Hi, Ray. Hi, Ray.
Getting conscious as a black man, we are trying to open up the eyes of black people all over the world. Mm -hmm. And not just black people, mm -hmm. but people, real people. Because real people is 98% of the people. Of the world. Ah, it's 98% of the world that mm -hmm. feel pressure. Mm -hmm. And there's a 98% of the world that I and I defend. Mm -hmm. I not just defend I self, but I defend totally the complete structure at the world and you'd say that in your defense you sing about it of course yeah. i have to that's do. your means of yes. letting it known and you'd say that's probably the means of a lot of jamaican musicians of letting their feeling for this 98 percent of the world known uh -huh. you that is true the 98 percent of the people over the world and all you see them in a sufferation so long a time mm -hmm. and them don't know when they get saved yeah and they don't know how to get free mm -hmm. and the only way i and i you know, this time I'll get free. Is if I believe in Rastafari. Because Rastafari is the Almighty God. If you listen to this tune, I free long time. Because here I there, I tell him that from 1959, say, I am man free. And I man know that freedom, freedom for the world soon come. Because that 2% can't hold out too long. Babylon must crash. And Babylon started for a long time because if you go into the Bible from them long, long time there, mm -hmm. you don't remember that Nebuchadnezzar, right, was the first king of Babylon. Mm -hmm. It's the same Babylon we have a crash now. Mm -hmm. He may rule all about you know, he may rule in America, he may rule at Vatican, he may rule, he may rule in a London all over the world. Babylon. Because Babylon is really the head of the government. Exodus. The movement of the people
Good night. 